Good morning, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the show for the final day of the EU Action Key. Three more matches to conclude the week, and we will know what is happening for next week as the draws will be made. For now, it is going to be Singularity versus Existence Galaxy to kick off the, the evening here for us. Excuse me, just Existence, not Galaxy. But it, nonetheless, it is going to be an interesting match because typically, I, I did not expect to see both these teams in the 0-1 pool, if I'm being completely honest. The fact that they're here shows just how strong Europe's division is right now in terms of potential, in terms of, of, of teams. And of course, my name is Strong Legs, and this is your host, as always, Keith Lafortune. And we will be bringing the action for these three upcoming matches, starting off with this one, of course, on Vertigo, Keith. What, what are your initial thoughts here? Uh, okay, initial thoughts. Singularity have been struggling as of late. And you know, I'm going to throw both teams into the same struggle bus because if okay. you just look at the win rates from Singularity, 11 maps played 45% win rate, F six maps played over fast 50% win rate, eight Mirage maps 25% win rate, yeah. eight Dust 2 maps 38%, and of course, from Vertigo, the map, five maps 20%. So they've been struggling. They lost against Pact on Vertigo 16 to 9. That was when Pact was just running the show. And of course, Existence lost their opening match to AGF a bit closer on Overpass. Um, that's that's the that's the I one think, that we saw last week. Yeah, and I think I think Existence had the easier matchup. Um, Singularity going up against Pact. Now we're gonna land on Vertigo again, a map that is still ever so changing and evolving. Um, but a map that I think Singularity are comfortable on. They showed some promise against Pact. Um, yeah. But yeah, I'm, I'm I'm surprised both teams are here, and now they have to play each other, which is kind of like the perfect on one matchup. But again, it's kind of the same story with some of the NA teams. It's like, wow, they're really going to be, one of these is going to be an O2. That kind of, wow. Yeah. It's surprising. <laughs> yeah, no, it's definitely surprising. And if I'm seeing this correctly, we almost have, to, uh, we do have 10 players in the server. We're just waiting for them you to do, ready yeah. up. And as soon as they will, the action will continue and begin even if you're in here right now and you've enjoyed the content so far and you wish to see more of it and you wish to see us progress, please do follow our socials, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, baby. We are everywhere here to provide your original content of course, shout out to VBet, our sponsor. But uh, I think the, the thing that I'm really kind of excited to see unfold here, Keith, is that you are absolutely correct. I think the meta on this map hasn't really found its place yet. And considering just how often that this map is being changed, teams are constantly innovating different paces. And Pax has found their own little unique approach to this that we saw last week, right? Hyper aggressive, very contesting, heavy early in, in, the, in the early round. And they're also willing to take a lot of fights in the mid round. And just the, the B splits are just wild now uh, through mid. So a lot has changed. But I, I am curious to see how the how the Singularity squad will fare on this map. Because it, I feel like it is a map that they would be good on. But I just haven't seen them play it yet. I don't I don't believe in in Winner's League. Yeah, I don't think so either. I'm going to double check that. Well, are you talking about Singularity or Existence? Singularity, Singularity. Singularity lost their opening match on Vertigo actually against Pact. Oh, on vertigo you are right yeah yeah that is correct yes 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 yes. yeah yes. so we did get to see them but packed we saw that we're clearly a bit more well versed and i i still think this map's in this weird spot where like you can't flank as a ct still like it, just mainly because wherever you go it's just so loud and the flanks take a decent time even with the change with the new lockers cut through um and shutting down like the long flank and just giving a cut through the center of the map yeah. i it's still really hard to flank. I think it comes down to the opening duels and how you get information and rotate. So we'll see if Singularity and or Existence on the CT side can justify those rotates. Okay. Um, because, you know, you have to keep an eye on mid, obviously, as Knife Round's live. But, yeah, you have to keep an eye on mid on CT and also justify your rotates. Um, I'd say this map is... It's hard to really get good rotates in. But uh, if you get information, as as you do on most maps, it should be okay. But, I don't know, this map's always changing to me. So it's, it's so interesting. All right, and... No, well said, but let us watch it unfold ourselves in real time. Keith, I think the knife round is already underway, so we can just go ahead and jump in the pistol round as soon as it begins. And there we go. It is existence finding their the knife round, so they will decide size, which I imagine will be the CT side, Keith. As Keith, people still prefer to defend. Can't blame them. But I have been hearing a lot of opinions on this map being completely T-sided now. Which is so weird because this map is like done a 183 times now. And I think it was... it's T-sided here in, in this current setup as well. Yeah, I mean, this map used to be like extremely T-sided. Then it was like extremely T-sided. 
And now we find ourselves back in this, uh, kind of this T-side in this. And that early nade, Jesus Christ. Ramoy's been chunked, chunked down to 30 HP. Celebrates down to 68 as well. Pope is now, he's, he was the hard hitter in their last matchup on this, on this map, Keith. Obis was the one that dropped over 180 yard against Pack, even though they still lost. Now, Johnny Boy is up close towards the bottom of the ramp, which means that he will have information really early on, and he will be able to send reinforcements as soon as he spots someone. He will be able to get the first shot off. He gets the shot, and he's going to walk back to the sandbags. But he has, he has no one baiting or supporting him until Nikom gets here, which he will in time. And the lack of Molotov for Singularity means that they can't really flush Johnny Boy out of this position. They're going to have to hard clear him, which will expose them to Nikon. Biz, going to jump up on the sandbank. Singularity going to try to take sight here. And they force them off. Burks can do so, but they're not going to clear sandbag. Johnny Boy can get the planter and then one more. Almost spins around for Tobiz. Two from that position is ideal. By time for your teammates to get over here. Nico, Nikon. I'm going to get one back as OMG jumps up. Lovely shot on Tobiz. And just like that, the singularity hit has been dealt with. With a well-placed, sneaky little play by Johnny Boy. Ramoy, if he gets this clutch. Whew, one way to start the day. But you're even being flanked through short. Yeah, your days are numbered. OMG will find him existence. We'll pick up a pistol. What was a well-placed and well-rotated round. Okay, Existence. Johnny Boy kicking it off strong. I love that. The double kill from that sandbag position was huge. Denies bomb play. Gets that other player as well. Buys them a ton of time to really set themselves up for success there. But Singularity unable to plant the bomb. He would need problems in this round as they only have a P250 for Ramoy. And not a single flash. Not a single smoke. Just probably going to be a group up here towards the mid round and Hail Mary rush towards one of the sites. Yeah, I don't know if I like the rounds of a plant, Roy. <laughs> Doesn't seem... So his name is Nikom. Am I saying that right? Yeah, Nikom. Nikom. Perfect. Tommy. Tommy here on the stairs. Locks him up with his MP9. He then gets involved himself. 2-0. Rifles will come out from Singularity. I like it because they got the plant on pistol. Don't force there. Get the AKs out now, and we'll see. Do they go into a more A-side heavy default, which we've seen a lot of teams do, fight for the ramp control? Um, because I feel kind of like the ramp control in A, it doesn't just give you A, right? It kind of gi gives pressure to alleviate a little bit so you can come back towards mid. Um, kind of like top mid with Mirage with me. Obviously, you don't give the avenue out of it, but I still feel like it's a mandatory point in a default. So there, you're going to put some pressure there. And I think a, a ramp's always going to be a, a hot spot, but it comes down to if they can at least have someone to make sure they can still rotate back if need be, and Ramoy's going to be that guy. But a lot of nades coming in. Tommy and Co. going to try to get control towards these B stairs. And great nade, but they've dropped all their nades on the B site, and I'm pretty sure Ramoy should have communicated that. It seems like they're still kind of sticking to the script here on the A attack, though. Johnny Boy's all the way back in heaven, and the retake here will be... I almost feel... I almost want to say difficult, Keith, because they, they don't have long-range weapons, and if... if I think they already take positioning all the way in the back towards sandbags, towards a ramp and catwalk. I'm not entirely sure how the MP9s will fare here, but the bomb will get planted. It's going to be utility being dumped uh, by existence to try to re the balance here, at least gain some sort of advantage. But Existence is setting up for set smokes. I wonder where that's going to land here from Johnny Boy's hands. Where smoke is out. That's going to block off the, the default position. And actually, it's a wall of smoke. I don't think I've seen this yet. This is interesting. Wall of smoke retake. Do they know where the bomb is? Accelerate sure does. Someone else is going to get on it. And they are just getting mowed down. Everyone is <laughs> dying through smoke. <laughs> I appreciate the wall of smokes, but it seems like everyone in Singularity knows where the bomb's planted, so the gig's yeah. up. But you know what? I appreciate it. No, you know what? I, I'm a big fan of that, except I, I don't think it works that well when there's five AKs still alive on the ramp side. 
You know, maybe if they had one, maybe if they had eliminated a player, and maybe if one of the players had an op, that's a lot more effective. But <laughs> 158k bullets being sprayed, probably gonna kill some of you. Now it's gonna be a fast way here for Singularity, looking to kick up the speed. Now they're not looking to commit to site, but they're looking to take a ramp quickly and deny existence the opportunity to fight back or find a pick with the op here and the and Johnny Boy. But it seems like they're not skipping a single beat. They're, they're looking to commit here, Keith. The well, smoke scout, the utility being dumped over, the flashbangs as well. And they saw him as about to be in a very important duel, but it's Merz to claim that one as they now transition to the bomb site. Uncontested, the bomb will be planted. OMG just gonna be spamming through the smoke. They may elect to just save this. No kits, low utility. Yeah, they're gonna back on out. Now, eh, Vertigo is an awkward map to save on because there is nowhere to hide. And I'm pretty sure you can run end to end in like 20 seconds on this map. It is super tiny in comparisons to <laughs> other maps when it comes to places to save. We may see Singularity throw a couple guns at this, but it might just be a mutual. We'll keep five alive, you keep four, and we'll just run it back one more time. Uh, it seems to be the probable outcome here. Terrorists win. Singularity? It seems like A is going to be the hot spot for them, Roy. They like contesting it. They don't mind taking the fight towards ramp. They have set smokes, flashes to get A ramp control. And uh, it is hard to deal with it as a CT, unless your op really wants to get aggressive and peek in and go for the opening pick. And... I wonder if Existence are going to start playing just 1B in one mid and just putting a couple more bodies on it. There we go. That's what we're looking for, right? That early off play. Something that was not in the round before, which is actually really well done by Singularity. Now, they call him with like that gun, but I'm not quite sure he'll be able to pick it up. Johnny Boy repositioned for Ivy and massive maneuvering there by him. Nice mobility by the off. He's been guessing. He's catching first. He's done his job. Nikom can pick up that AK-47. It should be a little bit more recoverable towards the IV position. But the important thing to note in this round is that Singularity, they sacrificed two players, and the only thing they've gained is top B steps. They never got past middle. They never got past A. And now they pretty much almost have to commit to this B bomb site. And as long as Tommy doesn't fall instantly. It'd be a pretty easy cleanup here for existence on the retake. Nah, they know it's just one guy. Yeah, Nico. I'm gonna be able to find Hobiz. OMG on the boost, and he is gonna find Celerate. It just leaves Ramoy. Not a chance. Singularity get held up. Roy, and just a heads up. Nature is not too kind to me as I hear thunder and lightning. So if I vanish. Um, I'll tap my heels and wish to come back to Kansas and hopefully I'll Oh wait, is it, is, it, is it thunderstorming where you are as well? Yes. Me, us too. It just started pouring rain outside. Yo, we're not, you know, we're, we're not that far away from each other, Roy. And the lake effect's a real thing. So, and the Johnny Boy effect is a, is a real thing as well. As he looks into another opening pick, but this time Tobit says hello. A little bit fast paced for on the Ivy side of you for Tobit. Maybe a little bit too early for Johnny Boy to handle, but now OMG is here. He eliminates Tobiz, one of the hard hitters for Singularity. He maintains the advantage for now. A light shot onto OMG as he looks for cover up the back of the site, but the wall of smokes is making it awkward for both of these teams. But there is utility in hand here for Tommy, and there's an aid here as well for OMG. Oh, they double nade the, the wrong spot. That would have been sick though if the bomb was being planted on that side. That Molly. Gonna hold Celerate in place. Existence has everyone here. Oh, and Mertz spots ahead of OMG on the top box. Gonna flash his teammates and run across the default plant spot. Needs to help Celerate, and he does. Mertz, second on the round. Can he support? Tommy G is gonna try to deny this plant. Is he gonna jump up? Is he daring enough? Let the plant go down. He'll find the planter. 2v2 retake. A kit and the smoke's in play, so hang on. Things are about to get dicey. Mertz can't be smoked off. He can't be mollied off. That smoke oh, misses by an absolute no. country mile. <laughs> Not a chance that it hit the bomb. Now Mertz can just sit and wait. Spot them both, and they're both removed. Singularity, answer back.
they really did counter Johnny Boy there. They were counting on him going for the aggressive pick and trying to run to short to get the second like they did previously and just pick up the pace to Tobis. That, that smoke was uh, <laughs> unfortunate, to, to say the least. Uh, the, unfortunate, the other unfortunate aspect here for existence is that they're out of they're out of economy, and Singularity can actually begin the the ability to, to stabilize their economy. Something that is a good place to be, having that having that a safety net. Black man's gonna come out here. Deep Johnny boy almost catches the kill. Instead catches opponents by the enemy team Keith. And catching bullets is usually a hard task. Oh, retake mode with just pistols. Maybe if they're given a freebie, but... Honestly, they're buying next round anyway. I feel like committing these pistols just trying to do some damage considering they have Singularity on the Is the move. Maybe one more, perhaps. I feel pr I feel like 210's in a place so you can make it happen. But yeah, Singularity. Going to take a fourth round. And this is on existence winning pistol in the follow-up. So Singularity have been winning a majority of the rifles thus far. Four out of five. And I wonder what existence will do now. Because we've seen Johnny Boy go for that change of pace, go for that opening op pick, and then the second. That's what won them their first rifle. He doesn't have the op this time around. Tommy G will buy it up. But what's gonna be the answer from existence, right? It it do you just keep rolling the dice towards a ramp? Singularity have adapted. Now it's your turn. Uh, I'm already liking the switch here. Right, they've sent rifles this time to the A ramp. They have the op on B. They're sending all their rifles, their hard hitters, towards the A ramp, and they've actually managed to find a single kill each in a couple, an OMG. Claim one. Now, Singularity might start to panic, right? Send numbers back to B as quickly as possible, but they, that's when they walk into the op for Tommy. But look at this, Keith. We have a trespasser. Johnny Boy is all the way in the T spawn oh, wow. right now. Now he's gonna have to decide if he wants to flank A or B. If he goes A and eliminates that the only player there, they can instantly counter rotate to B and stack it. And so either way, Tommy's gonna be just fine on the site with the op as he gets Ramoy. And I think with that kill, he's pretty much solidified in the deal here. And yeah, there it is, picked apart. Yeah, I don't like Mertz's odds here, Roy. If he clutches it. I was trying to think something I could do, but there's nothing like I don't I don't want to do anything. If he clutches it, it would be amazing. But uh, you're stuck in a weird spot. You're gonna start oh. to get pressured. You know what? He does good by one. That's unfortunately it. Uh, looking at the money, it's gonna be a buy. Uh, Mertz can drop, salary can downgrade, Tobas can buy, Ramoy can buy. Everything's another full rifle round for Singularity. It is gonna. It is gonna be. Wow, limited. they they aren't. Okay, they. Am I crazy? But I think this could have been a full rifle buy comfortably. Yeah, they, they would have been. They would have been lacking something. They would yeah. have been lacking utility on one player. Oh my lord, that nade just destroyed them on the fast phase towards the B site, and they're looking to con to continue committing to this bomb site keep. But the problem is now everyone is here. The rifles are here as well. Tommy claims two. Out of the smoke, he's going for the third. Not quite able to land it, but he's done the damage and set up his teammates for success. And Tuta Hen will follow up. He gets himself a second as well. And it's all Tobiz now. The one versus three. He does have an opportunity here. He oh. can make this happen. He's heard the scope from Johnny Boy coming in on the flank. He knows he's in the sandwich. He's just trying to find a safe haven or some sort of engagement. But it will be Johnny Boy to end the round. An expensive round at that for for existence, but a round nonetheless. But now the, the actual buy comes out. The only thing that that uh, leaves a question mark in my brain, Keith, is that I think they already over-invested. They, they, they went for the half buy, but actually weakened their full buy here by having two Galils and limited utility on yeah, the as well. That's why I was so confused, because like, they bought, but they also kind of like over-bought. So I, was, I, was, uh, I was like, this is weird. But hey. Puts them in a little bit of an awkward spot. I think they had more utility last round, or at least the same. OMG on the boost spot spots. Tobiz jumping across, and I think you can actually boost on the little uh, drywall 
where Tobiz was and spot that safely. Well, not safely, but at least gives you a head angle. Yeah, they're gonna do so now. Right when OMG is fallen. Get a boost up on big box, accelerate. Not gonna peek, just gonna leave his teammate here. I like this approach from Singularity. Phase out the mid players, starve them, starve them of information, and then deal with a ramp late. I, I don't mind this approach at all. Yeah, that smoke mid is gonna draw so much attention away here from that A bomb site because now they're, they're genuinely afraid and paranoid of the A site that could be happening. And it actually is happening. Burtz holds forward. Johnny Boy will walk into his death. Celerate eliminates one here in towards mid. That's Nikom gone down. That's all the A players now. The remaining players are all towards the B side key. And Singularity finds the passage. Celerate will eliminate another one here down in middle. But it's strong. And a third as well. Yeah, Tommy. A little stuck. Nice shot. And jabby, but immediately traded out by Celerate. He'll grab the op on the T side. I think that's going to fit beautifully into their newfound pace that they just showed us in that round. Singularity decided to poke mid a little bit, and it seemed like existence were a little, not caught off guard, but a little little timid and, and kind of got phased out a bit earlier than they would have liked. Didn't necessarily fight for the control, I think, like they wanted to. And Singularity just got it for free and pinched on in. Well done by Singularity. Existence. Still staying in this with five rounds on CT side. Nothing to shake a stick at. But again, we don't really know where the rounds will fall. It comes down to how each team plays each half. And I'm more than uh, happy to learn. And it also comes down to this round right here as well. Because Existence is pretty much fully invested. And they're not really working with the, the best artillery of weapons. Bit of chip damage here coming out from Tommy early towards the beast. step. He looks for more. And he's not quite able to get it. But now there's exchange of damage across the entire map. But yeah, they only have the single op here for... for Johnny Boy, that's the only real hard hitter. And they go one for one. So far. Moy is wounded. That is an opportunity for a kill later on. Oh, me is a GG here. He does manage to kill a healthy player. That's Tobe has gone down. And Ramoy with that kill, he will start taking his posture forward on the B site. But Tuka is already here with a deagle. And he claims his life, Keith. The three versus two now. And Singularity are forcing an awkward decision where Merch has a ton of control towards the A site. But Delray has to make his way over. He will hear that rotate. Do they expect Merch here in this lurk position with the top? And he catches Johnny Boy. Oh, he get two. Oh, the flick down from Mertz. Who, who pushes that forward with an op? Not ready for that or exist. I mean, even if he had a rifle, it'd be a bit more normal than doing this with an op. Mertz is crazy. And I like every second of it. Dude, Dan worth an attempt here. You win this, Singularity might not get a buy. They don't even have any loss bonus. He's gonna go ahead and spam in towards Heaven. Get a flash out, dodge one of his own. Three bullets remaining. These are gonna have to be two two taps. <laughs> or two one taps. Yeah, and a defuse. And without a kit, this is it. Yeah, he realized that idea. They're both playing CT side. Smart, just smart positioning there from Singularity. But unfortunately, the force by round for existence has netted them nothing here. And it will just be a single AK save for Tutahin. And likely the only person who has any sort of say in this round, Keith. Uh, if there is eyes on anyone on the existence side, it's probably going to be Tutahin. And I'm surprised he hasn't dropped his deagle to one of his teammates. That's, that's, a, that's a little selfish of you, Tutahin. Oh, nice little cheeky. <gasps> what? Oh, no. He could have caught two players there. Three, maybe, easily. Johnny boy, Johnny boy, Johnny boy! Oh, what is, what, is, what is happening? This round is crazy. They're boosting two damage to the AK, and he gets two! Singularity, they're, they're crumbling. More than an apple crumble, which I would die for right now. <laughs> like, gonna try to take the site. I don't know what's happening. Merch wants the AK. Oh, man. The Molly's not gonna hit Nikom. It does! How does that spread? What is going on? Oh, man. They still can get to the site, though. 
USB is for everyone except Tuta and, and Tommy. But planting this is going to be oh so difficult. Nakam has to be careful. He pokes his head up even just an inch too small, and it's going to be gone. Mert may consider a safe plant. Nakam, though, is going to jump up as soon as he hears this. Fight, he's going to go up. All the kills are going Singularity's way, and just like that, it's Tommy. The last man remaining for existence. He has a deagle. No armor. And he's on the flank. He may be able to find an op and get out, though. That might be... That's not bad. Oh, wow. This was so unfortunate. I, I wish they had been a little bit more patient for Tommy. With two people alive, Keith, and such a limited amount of time, it's actually impossible to hold flank because you, you have to face forward while, the while one person's finding the bomb. They had waited for Tommy just a tiny little bit. It would have been a gap. Somebody would have found the gap. Either the forward players would have found the gap or the flank would have found the gap. It would have had a much better chance just waiting for that flank to come in there. An unfortunate error from existence. But, I mean, all things considered, that was just a hero AK round, so you can't expect much. But at, at the same time, I almost feel like their existence had multiple chances to win that one, right? With the initial triple boost, that would have been at least one or two kills right there easily. I guess you get recovered by getting two kills later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Semantics. At this point, it is going to be double ops available for existence. One point early aggressive toward the B site. The counter nade for the aggression. It's going to do a ton of damage. The flashbang is trying to delay, and he does manage to find the kill. And he keeps his life. Boy. Ooh. Ooh. Flick. Goodbye. Tobin. Trying to force him off. That Molly's gonna make Johnny Boy have to go wide. The smoke will stand. The plants will be stuck. As Johnny Boy waits out the fire. And Mertz peers with his op. We know how deadly he can be in this 2v4. They're getting flanked. And Mertz gets caught out. Just Tobin. 1v4. Spraying wildly. Only gets one existence. You know what? I think they're doing a really good job of keeping this close. Although they are, they've only get one round and then lose the next, or get two rounds and and string a couple back to Singularity. I, I think they're still keeping this close enough where it's considered a good CT half. Yeah, I agree. And <clears throat> excuse me. On top of that, there there is a potential here to reset Singularity towards the end of this half, whether it be here or in the next round. And I think it's going to be right here. Mertz will have an AK light armor. Everyone else will be on pistols. Armor for Remoy. A little utility for Tobis with a MAC-10 as he's equalizing his money up. But this is the opportunity for Existence to find a 7th on the board. And at that point, they're either fighting for an 8 round, you know, 8, 7, the 1 round lead. But either way, if they lose a half out at 78, they kill. Now they come get caught off. And a ton of damage is landed in the turn. And yeah, nades, Keith. English is hard. No, I don't I know it. Tobiz is gone. Johnny Boy is liking his aggression. And that back positions, rage transfer. Oh, of course he got it. Not a moment in my mind did I not see Tudahen getting all three. Existence ties up at Lucky Sevens. Singularity have cash to buy AKs for everyone, except maybe Celerate. Yeah, he'll go for it without utility. So you know what, there we are. Double op for existence on the CT side. I can see how this map could actually be a really deadly double op kind of map. Um, that could be hard to deal with, but it's sad we don't get a game for the last round. And Singularity back to their two players mid early on the break. Two tens nade. Ooh, almost oh, wow. break. <laughs> that was close. Yeah, Celery is forward, and he's been such a pain. Wow. That was such an awkward peek there from Tommy. It's not helping that he's getting spammed down. Now, Johnny Boy is regressing back to him. He needs to find some sort of uh, uh, balance here in this round. He, Tobis is a great start, but Mertz is up close. He might not be ready for that one, and he gets completely sidelined now. And that is ace-type. That's completely open for business. No one can stop it. And they have the deep smokes this time, Keith. So they have not forfeited the back of the A site. Only Heaven and J Hall are available here for the CTs. Has been planted. Yeah, I'm really not liking Existence's odds. 
But this is the last round, so they have to attempt this. I wonder what they're gonna do. I think two times falling for a smoke. Ooh, what's this smoke gonna be? Is that a front sight smoke? That's cheap. It is. And although Dom pokes his head up, it gets removed. Uh -oh. <laughs> on site did you see that was that on stream no it was not on stream but i, I did see that dude that was kind of nasty i'm not, i'm not gonna lie he was that sandbag <laughs> and just flicked his teammate on site he was aiming for heaven and just flicks his teammate on site kind of a nice shot nice shots nice shots all around I think a nice half all around as well. Yeah, I, I really, uh, what I'm trying to think about right now is like, I don't know what to expect in this half. I really have no idea what to expect in this half. I feel like this is going to be a, such a tough task for single area, but at the same time, anything can happen. And Nikom will be the first one to open up the, the bomb site. Now there's nades and flashes landing everywhere, which leaves Ramoy exposed in the open. And now they have to hold a man advantage with the bomb being planted. Two players are coming in from the CT side, the two remaining players. Nikon finds one headshot angle, Glock spamming, Ooh. and he recovers for the last one. And existence, they want that momentum as early as possible, and they get it on the pistol key. Now, it is someone, just... uh, oh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I was just saying, someone hit the pistol DM. Nikon with that, with that Glock. Woo! That's all I got, Roy. Nothing too constructive. Yeah, I... you know what's actually uh, interesting is that Nikon was considered like the the new hard hitter gun in the Argentinian scene and in the South American scene. And it's kind of nice to see him in, in a whole different continent compared to Europe. That's cool. You love to see it. Spray into the wall. Obviously that wall is not as uh, soft as the old wood wall. Obviously we are on a construction site. But we're on a construction site on the top of the building, so you know walls change, things get upgraded. A singularity get the first pick. Tom has to be careful, taking some shots to the wall, but he'll return some fire. He's not worried, he's not scared. And uh, existence don't seem too pressed to, to kind of push this issue. But it seems like they're fairly committed to A, like they don't really have any contingency fallback plans. I mean, yeah, with Ramoy's positioning here towards the B steps. It there is no fallback plan. Man. You kind of just have to commit. There are just so many players alive here, and they're all split up, and oh. existence are falling apart now. And Merge pushes forward, not backwards. Ooh. And he hits a nice flick onto Johnny Boy. And the Rampage secures the round here for Singularity as existence. They drop the ball in what could have been their early momentum and their early lead here. Oh, man. What a round though by Singularity. So well played. Oh, beautifully done, and I think it's kind of what we've talked about before, where I would rather lose pistol, win next, than win pistol, lose next, <laughs> obviously. I, I think you get more out of it, um, and again, that's going to continue to show the four spies can hang with the pistol around win five. Jabby may be in trouble here. Johnny Boy just hoping to find a little bit of room on smoke, and he just walked right by. Easy pickings. The scout's still gonna get involved and get an assist. Nikon gonna attempt to grab this bomb. The smoke is fading. Ooh. Can he get out of here? No. He's just gonna throw the bomb to his teammates. I don't think they're gonna get to the site. I personally don't see a plant coming in. Singularity, if they keep five alive, they're gonna get the free next round. Keep five is a, a, a force from existence. So this half couldn't have started better for Singularity. Wait a second. That's an AK. Now they just need to gather the objective of the round. Bomb Keith. Tobis is up close here with the Mac 10. If there's a flick. Yeah, nah, there's no flick. Only death, Keith. I mean, one versus two. Jabby's at 42 HP. Celebrate 79. A scout in hand. A Galil in hand for Jabby. I. Uh, you want to say this is possible? If he has to gather the bomb quickly enough. The only problem is he, th he thinks you're guarding the bomb. Yeah. He's going to waste a ton of time going back for it. He almost needs to start sprinting right now. Just run. 
I don't think he has time to go B. Is he conceding the route? Yeah, he... To be fair, that is a very tough scenario that he's in, because yeah. he has no idea whether they're guarding the bomb or not. That's true. He'd have to clear so much on his way to his site. No money, but it's a full save from his team anyway. If he saves 650, he'll get 2400. Not a great spot for uh, OMG to be into. Not a great spot for existence in general. Singularity, though, the round was expensive, so that kind of puts pressure on this one being a bit clean. And if this AK can at least find two kills, one kill, any sort of damage, it'll it'll hopefully lift some of that pressure into the next round. I I really want eyes on OMG right here because I feel like oh my god, we the only player who has any sort of key in this round. And he got, he, now that I'm seeing this picture, he kind of looks like one of my classmates. <laughs> Maybe it was. Ramoy falling back to the beam. Got the boxes in front of him, the beam will cover, and it's just a slaughter. Hero AK will not get anything. Ramoy will pick it up. Well, Hero AK. They carried over AK. And uh, the buy from existence will have OMG lacking. That is. The downgrade comes in. This is a big one. Singularity with the Oppen Mertz. They've budgeted for it. They've crunched the numbers. And they've gotten the go ahead. From uh, the finance department to pick it up. And you can already see the different approaches to Singularity. They play three towards A, one spotting mid, and one B, where existence were a bit more B heavy. So we're already seeing some different setups in terms of CT side. Is Jabby on a player right now? What's that? Is Jabby on a player or is he on an object? Oh no, he's on the player. Okay. Yeah. It, player. it looks so confusing. Imagine there's from a that little pixel boost there. Or yeah, dude. <laughs> I was tripping out. I was like, dude, what, what is he standing on? Because it doesn't look like he's standing on his, his teammate. Yeah. Oh, he clears that. What? Okay. Damn. Head on a swivel. And say that's what you gotta have, Mertz. Showing up has Tommy. That dang is absolutely disgusting on the B stairs. Hiding behind the handrail. Yeah, in the meantime as well, Tommy's eliminated the B player, so they're just gonna go ahead and fall back to the B site where he's maintained control. He has a smoke for the boost. He's a Molotov for deep CT. Tobas can potentially regain some ground here, but even then he's, he's they're already here. They're all already on site. They've gotten five of the drill points. Now it's just a brawl on the B site, Keith. They kill Mertz, they can go back. Up. He's gone. OMG is pieced out. By the time I think Tobis out rotates him here though, which is like this is the unfortunate part. But Celerate's leaving with him. They're grouping up. They're staying together. OMG. Ooh, a little oh. bit of a pump fake. And are they gonna think it's planted A? Nah, they know. I, they know. Oh, they spot him. Yeah. yeah. This is gonna be so hard for OMG. Galil and Han, both players are weak. And if they don't swing together, if they give him one on ones. There is a chance. I love how he's not upgrading for an AK, even though he's had plenty of opportunity to do so. There's a flash. There's a smoke on the singularity side. They're hoping OMG will peak. They know he they, he wants to isolate a 1v1. This is such an important Ooh. round. Can he isolate it? They're going to smoke on the bomb. Tap. And he's just going to play the long game. He's looking for the second player. Can he get the kill? Oh, oh he transfers it. OMG, indeed. That was filthy that defuse probably had a couple seconds left but man did he look it make it look pretty nice that was so important for existence and they're just gonna <laughs> they're taking a timeout they're they're chilling for yeah a let second. him think about it let him think about it yeah let, let him settle his heart rate a little bit too that was such an important clutch i mean that would have put singularity at so much closer to that finish line but the bigger problem here for existence is although that was a round win they, they don't really have much money like they picked up the ak omg could buy his own or potentially drop an op here for either johnny boy or tommy whoever wants it and to go back on your point i think it was less than two seconds i think it was like a second and a half or one second remaining on the defuse there 
That was really close. But I feel like Singularity are kind of in the same boat. Like, yeah, they're able to pump out a purchase right here, but Ramoy is down to a Deagle. Tobis is down to an MP9 and full utility. Yes, that helps. Accelerate will have an M4 limited utility. Merge has an op with no utility. I don't see any kits in play. And it's such a retake heavy map, right? Like it's very rarely the round is resolving without a bomb plant. This round is uh, a little, uh, little important. I mean, I guess you can take out the little and say it's important. This is one of those late round swing rounds. Our singularity going to be absolutely broke. You can tell by their buy, they're kind of already there. Or is existence going to win this one with confidence? And tie us up before the next rifle round comes out. This one kind of dictates a lot. It dictates if Existence are going to get a couple more rifle rounds. And if the game's going to go a bit longer. Or if Singularity are going to pull ahead. Because both teams right now are at $1,900 loss. And that screams to me at least a two round save. Maybe not for Existence, but definitely for Singularity. Now, the, the main thing that I'm noticing here in, the, in terms of difference in weaponry is Existence do have more rifles, but they don't have any scope weapons to deal with Merch's op. And if they're careless in their approach, if they're overlooking the fact that Singularity could have an op, that's really when the op shines, right? Is when you're not really sure it's in, if it's in play or not. You're, you're peeking around corners. You're, you're carelessly checking different angles. Now, Ramoy is up close and personal here towards the B steps. Uh, a pretty dangerous position, but it might actually catch Existence off guard if they're not careful about it. The only problem is if he gets eliminated, that's pretty much free passes to the B bomb site, really uncontested by anyone except possibly Jabby. Now, Ramoy, such an important battle coming up here. Will he find this? Bots one. He gets overlooked. He's up close and personal, almost finding the second one. But he catches Ramoy, and in the process, Celery gets eliminated as well. Nikom is, is pressuring Jabby. I think he saw the side of his head, so they definitely know that he is here. And what an awkward round. Look at Johnny Boy's already in CT spawn. There's a lot of positioning available here in terms uh, through mid. Oh, he's going for the flat-out B-split. Johnny Boy just lost so much time and space, and he's won the round by himself. He gets the opening kill on the CT player, takes the map control, slowly works around, and just chokes out the B site. Mertz, gonna try to save. Existence may want to throw one gun at him. I don't think they know he has the op, but they may just realize, you know, any gun here is, is a bit too much control. But we want to kind of make sure the next round has no problem. But at the same time, don't want to hurt oh. their own. Oh. Uh, screw all that. They're going for it, Keith. And this would be a huge kill to eliminate that off. Just to take away any of their chances. And they get that existence. A massive round right there. A huge round by Johnny Boy and Tommy there. And as well as Nikom, who is baiting for Johnny Boy on that flank. Uh, nice little teamwork there. And Singularity will be forced on the save. Now, I'm not entirely sure if this is a single eco or a double eco. In the sense that... They will have enough money to buy rifles in the next round, but will they take the bait and go for the rifles limited utility though? That's the question because they can get guns out, which is why I'm unsure whether it will be a, a single eco or a double. Only time will tell, I suppose. Distance. The four players alive in the last round has bolstered their economy massively. Oh, look at that Nate stack. Okay. Ooh. Ends with a spicy one tap. Wasn't really much of a chance of singularity there. Aim practice for existence who tie us up. Man. Op comfortably in Johnny Boy's hands. We know what he can do with it. Singularity opless on Mertz. He's been deadly with it. And without it, is it going to hamper their defense? Is it going to hurt? Is it going to limit them? And off the beginning. 
same setup. Three towards A early. One player safe B. One spotting the boost in mid. Scaffolding. As existence just look to wait out this smoke. And will pressure. That nade's gonna hurt. Mertz is pushing. She's Johnny Boy with a nade at one. Is he gonna be able to double that? Can he trade out his teammate? No! It's the existence slaughter towards A ramp. Ramoy has to rotate. Tobiz is trying to do his best, but Existence are just waiting. They want Singularity to open. This is a big reason why so many teams do not go beyond that smoke on the CT side. Like I, I love the play, right? It's a bit of an X factor. You find yourself a little one way. Hold it up for a second. This this is still possible for Singularity. Existence cannot get too comfortable here. Yes, it's a two versus three. Bomb is not being planted, but this could very well be it. Oh, this is this awkward. Spread. Oh, he's hoping he's praying. It doesn't spread. Tobiz 1v3. Look at the HP. Uh, oh, so doable, but at the same time, the crossfires, the setups, it would be just too much. The Molly was just a second late. That's going to be existence taking the lead, Roy. And if memory serves, they haven't had the lead since winning Pistol, if my memory is correct. Uh, nope. Wait, two, four, six, seven, two, three, six. Yeah. Unless, yeah, because they didn't take the, the lead in the first half, did they? Do you have one singularity or existence? Uh, it just... Yeah, so Existence had the lead after they won Pistol. They had the lead again That's at 3-2. They had the oh, lead again they? Okay. at 5-4. It's been a while, though. It's been, yeah, a it's been a tight game. Like, at no point was it a comfortable lead for either of these teams. At least now they have a chance to pull away and put, like, a rifle round gap in between them with the, the rounds. I don't know how Sarek got hit with the molly through that wall. Did you see that? That was freaky. I did not the see mo that. The molly was on, like, the, the scaffolding, like, ramp towards A. And he was in short, and it came through the cement. Once. Oh, like, that's I the AK. That's, that is so unfortunate for... That is the worst timing possible for a singularity, to be honest. It kind of got timely on that. But, again, it's an eco. Only it's here or AK in play. Probably not a very good chances to, to secure the round. However, Existence have extended their lead to a potential 13th here. And I see a potential, but it's most likely the 13-11 here. But yeah, my, my point to go back on that other round was that A ramp aggression is so finicky for the CT side. Like You can contest the, the, your side of the A ramp, but once you want to go past that choke point, once you want to go into the forklift room, yeah. that's when it starts to get a little wild, right? You, you don't really know what to expect on the other side of that smoke. It could be three people holding. They could be one person holding. And it's typically why a lot of teams will avoid entering that part of the, the A ramp unless they have some sort of like second wave of aggression. Now, Jabby's looking to tap the bomb to get some players to fall. No matter all five alive, the economy now for existence has... I think it's safe to say it has stabilized, Keith. They have enough money now for probably the remainder of the game. I really do not see them running out of money anytime soon here. Mm -hmm. Pressure is on Singularity and they break up the double ops. We didn't get as much of that from Existence, but the last few rounds it really started to be effective. Singularity gonna break it out a bit earlier than Existence did. And will it be the saving grace? Will it slow down these players? Ooh. Tobit, opening pick on Johnny Boy, the confidence in that repeat. And that pick puts Existence in a weird spot. Tommy's gonna try to answer for it. Hey, can he find Ramoy? He can. Existence get mid control. They find a B pick. And now the round is back in their control while it was looking shaky for a moment. Now they have Singularity playing for information and playing for the rotates where Existence are just gonna group and look towards A. Uh, I think the big question for me right now is whether Existence are aware of the fact that there's a double op setup. Like, they know that Tobin is offing towards mid somewhere, but they have no idea if Merch is here. The mid shot leaves them completely exposed. Maybe he should have fell off after the first flashbang right there, and Nikov oh. just absolutely destroyed Salray. Jabby attempts to regain some sort of control, but he, he only goes one for 
one and he becomes barbecue meat. You never want to be barbecue meat. Unless it's a Saturday afternoon, 20 degrees Celsius, sun's out, gun's out, then you want some barbecue. You want the barbecue, but you don't want to be the barbecue. No, of course not. Of course <laughs> not. I guess there is a distinct difference in being the barbecue to getting the barbecue. A slight difference. Slight difference. Yeah. Sorry, I just got caught daydreaming of Saturdays. Singularity. Maybe wishing it was Saturday. Because they're not having any luck right now. Tobas will be able to hang on to one of the odds, but existence at 15 singularity. I think you. you uh, I don't want to make the call that you force around this, but I, I, you're at max loss. You have an op. I imagine just pistols around and pulled by next. Yeah, I think a timeout would be huge here. Uh, uh, I it, don't know. It, it really irks me that the fact that these, these guys are making the most important decision of the game so far and. You're not using a single one of their timeouts to make that. Now, Johnny Boy was poked up and oh! still loses the battle. Oh! And Mertz just absolutely murks them, Keith. That was so sick. He just dismantled existence and potentially bought Singularity a ticket here to a much better scenario moving into the later parts of this half. Damn! That was sexy, for lack of better words. That was... Damn, Mert. Tommy, scrambling now. Hoping to find Mertz or some sort of kill. And Mertz, looking deadly. Four for the man. Give him the ace. I don't think he's going to be willing enough to hunt for it, but man, he has earned it. This is soul crushing. Now, as we said, existence are set for money. They don't mind, but... Oh, this should have been 15. This could have been 15. And I bet they know that. Oh, did he just fall off? <laughs> Wait. Wait, where was that? <laughs> he fell off by the back sandbag. <laughs> he just jumped. Wait. <laughs> oh, on, on no, eight? don't tell no. me that. Oh. <laughs> dude, could you imagine if they lost that? He fell that? off the map and he clutches. Dude, I, was, I would be buckled. <laughs> dude if they had lost that round i was out i was getting up uh, laughing i my just way. watched him like i was like why is our director putting me on him third person he just falls i was like oh okay uh. wow okay now luckily for existence they, they have a ton of money and the singularity they, have, they put themselves in a definitely a much more favorable scenario now to either contest overtime or to clinch the win. Hey, okay. oh, fellas! I thought they were gonna try something crazy I've never seen before. But I was hoping it's like run boost this game. The one you do from spawn, and the guy has to like strafe over towards these stairs, you know? Yeah. Because with Singularity putting as much B, like, pressure on B stairs, if you can just force, like, catch someone around the going aggressive and run boost around the corner, ooh, it would be prime. Yeah, when, <laughs> when you're a fun fact, Keith, one time I was on Vertigo on match point, and we went for the run boost, and Nick just didn't make the <laughs> Nick never <laughs> <laughs> That's such a Nick thing to do, too. I'm sorry, Nick, but that's, that's funny. Did he lose the game? Yeah, we lost the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you just hear Nako completely silent after he fails to jump. Just doesn't say a single. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, uh, lag, lag spike. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, that's that's so Nick. That's so funny. Uh, Mertz, he's gonna get the first kill. Singularity. Nice, cover. Johnny Boy's too short. Yeah, beautifully done. Mertz is trying to find a way back into this, but they're just gonna have to wait out the smoke. Simple as that. Tommy will deal with the ramp. There is a long flank coming in. Oh, but Johnny Boy. Oh, through the sandbank, through the smoke, taking all the shots. Nikom is going to one tap Mertz. And Kentobas get involved. He's gotten good timing. Tommy's left the ramp. But I don't think they like the timing. They don't like it. Ramoy tries to get the op and get out. He's gone. That's 15. Singularity's buy is going to be brutal. 
$2,900 gets saved over. Topaz can save a rifle. I don't even think he can comfortably drop. Mertz might be able to, but man, existence looking great. They now have a very clear win condition, right? The Mertz can pick up an op, so I'm not sure if they're going to be aware of that fact. Rifles will come out, at least one extra rifle. I'll rate Tobiz holding those ones down. Ramoy with the MP9. Jabby's likely going to go down to either an MP9 armor or a Deagle armor with some extra utility. But in, in any way you interpret it, this is a very favorable round for existence, right? Rocking the full set of weapons. They have all the utility that they need. They have enough money to sustain purchases for probably the rest of this half. So if Singularity want to battle back for the overtime, it's not going to be a, a gun round eco gun round. It's going to be gun round, gun round, gun round, or possibly like a maybe a broken purchase on the third round. But either way, it's going to be a tough battle here for Singularity. And they're already working with limited set of weapons in this round right here. So look for Mertz with the op. Look for any of the hero heroic plays. I'm also curious to see whether they, they take a more aggressive approach or if they'll kind of feel the pressure and play a little bit more passive and, and how they're going to approach this one. There it is. The timeout is... Oh, never mind. It's back on. <laughs> they're typing to each other. <laughs> uh... They're just so funny. And we're back in it in 30 seconds, Roy. Well, 30 plus 12, because the game doesn't reset the <laughs> countdown, but hey. Pressure's on the MP9s, the op of Mertz, who's been playing Miraculous. He's pulled around out of his hat once or twice here and there, but is there anything left for him to find i don't know how big his hats are you know what's crazy is like no one's really hard fragging this game no one yeah i mean merch arguably is but even then he's only at 24 which is still far below the one kill per round there we go the match is live let's see how singularity's posturing is here early on First of all, where is Merce with the op? He's headed towards the A site. He's done a fantastic job on that end. He's going to go for that once again, looking to gain an advantage. Uh, I don't suspect that existence want to, want to make the same mistake. They're not, they're not going to give away the freebie here. And Merce has already been legged. That's that's brutal. That's going to weaken a lot of that offense. But they're actually going to send Jabby into the death here, potentially. He goes through double Molotovs. Okay. Punished for it. That's kind of sad that he, he he runs through both mollies just to get sprayed through his smoke. That that does feel bad. Had to take a risk of the MP9 existence though. It's so early in the round that they don't care if if, if this room's taken for now. They can retake it. Mertz is rotating to A to B. There's one player on A, Roy. Uh, this this round's so hard because singularity have to take risks on where they send their players is now going to try to be taken beautifully traded that's one for one they'll take that all day they can run up a ramp now existence so they get caught up by the utility oh merch mollies himself out no oh, you have to rotate around johnny boy front toe business maybe it merch can't hit a shot through the smoke and flashes comes ramoy the ggs are being typed but i believe in ramoy I think he can do it. Don't get me wrong. Ramoy's a great player, but I'm not liking his odds in this one, Keith. They know exactly where he is. He has to get past off. He's players on his left, players on his right. And there it is. Existence Galaxy. They tap it in. They secure the win in a pretty strong fashion, I must admit. I mean, that was a pretty well well played round all, overall. Forfeiting control. Pressuring that player that got into that corner. Mm -hmm. Having a, a solid retake plan, right? The single flashbang, two players going left, two players going right. Like, there's no way in heck that player Not was going to double up or find any sort of success holding that one down. And, of course, as soon as they kill that forward player, they know that uh, most of the other players are likely on the other side of the map. So, well done. Well done by existence as they now advance to the 1-1 pool. But Singularity are on to the 0-2 pool. So, I feel bad for Wes to play them there, That's Keith. That's brutal, yeah. Yeah, that is.
But that is the, the storyline here over for existence and singularity as we move on to our second match, which should be coming up here shortly. We are going to cut to a quick short break. My name is Strong Legs or Piernas Fuertes, as you all call me and know me by. And of course, this is Keith Lafortune. We'll be back in a couple of minutes for the second matchup coming up here shortly. Don't go anywhere and stay tuned for some more action.